A cancer diagnosis for anybody, for any of us, is very difficult, but for somebody that's got an additional need as well, then it's truly overwhelming. It's very difficult to know how to access support. So for somebody coming to the Cartbridge Centre, we, we use the patient passport and we make what we call reasonable adjustments. And these can often be small things, but hopefully they make massive changes and they make a big, big difference for the person that's coming for treatment. And often it can be the difference between somebody managing to come for treatment or actually not managing it. It's very important that patients with additional needs receive the appropriate level of information and support that they need to understand our reasons for treatment and how we're going to deliver that treatment for them. We provide easy read booklets for the patients to help them understand what we're going to be offering. They're excellent booklets that show in words and pictures what the patient will be going through. Often patients have a range of questions and we really encourage people to ask questions at any point through the treatment process. For example, often questions that we are asked are, will the treatment hurt? Will I lose my hair? Will it make me feel sick? And can I bring anything with me? And it's really important that we get the opportunity to go through and answer all of those questions. When someone with additional needs or an intellectual disability comes into Cladderbridge, um, it can be quite a daunting place. So when we bring them into the scanning room, sometimes people with additional needs uh, can come with their support worker uh, before the actual CT scan so they can come at an earlier date. We introduce them to everyone's staff in the room and we lie them on the bed um, and we explain everything uh, that is going to happen and then when they come for the CT scan it's less daunting for them. So patients with additional needs quite often come round after they've had their planning scan. They come onto one of the treatment machines here and then we can um, give them like an experience of what to expect. We can um, do a simulation of the treatment and see the machine moving around so they can see that it's not going to touch them. We show the positions of the cameras that are in the room that are watching them at all time. So therefore that they know that they're not alone when they are in the treatment room, that we are outside constantly monitoring their position.